another installment of the home server setup. Um, we want to set up the build environment. If we saw the last one for Zcage, um, it would be obvious if you're paying attention, I didn't have my build environment set up. So need to get that set up. This is going to be another quick one. Um, just installed build packages and a few utilities um, and Emacs. So let's take a look, see if Emacs is available in the package repository. It is. A um, couple of flags that are of interest. If you do a dash N, I think it's a dry run. And V is obviously verbose. And so you can see, okay, it's not going to do a, a boot environment backup uh, or creating a boot environment. It tells you what it's going to do. So we'll just do verbose, Emacs, top, H top. Sorry, I had to have a drink. You'll see how this goes, and then we'll we'll redo the uh, the npm install for zcage and see if this sorts it out. Um, but you know, missing a compiler and make and the headers, so this can go in. And you know, vi is great, but I like to have emacs around uh, as my editor of choice. And it's moving pretty quickly here. Okay, check, check that out. Cool. So, there is a meta package called Build Essential. Let's just put that in. I could spell today. And that gets a lot of the good stuff here. We get make, auto make, GCC7, flex, bison, and the system headers. So this will obviously take a moment or so. And we'll see, please let me know how the audio is doing. I'm using a new uh, boom mic, um, kind of a, a VoIP headset, I don't know. I don't know how, it, how it's gonna sound. Um, I need to get my mixer and mod mic uh, set back up uh, for doing some of this audio, but let me know if this sounds as good, better or worse than screencasts of yesteryear. And we've got GCC in there. Let me just take another look at this. Let's see if this now works. Okay, cool. So that now works. I don't know why I didn't see that at the time. I don't know. Maybe it's because I just finished uh, looking at some other stuff. Who knows? I was blind to reading errors that popped up on my screen. Um, so now... We should have Zcage in the path. No. Okay, let's put them all into, at least into the right place. Yeah. So we got Zcage installed globally. Yeah, so I just need to put a uh, node there into uh, the path, and we'll be good with Zcage. Um, we now have the build tools. We now also have top. If you uh, prefer that, I like top sometimes, but PR stat works better for me most of the time. So I told you that was going to be a quick one. 
just to get some of this stuff uh, fixed with the Zcage installation. So now we should be able to do images list um, Docker. I still can't put this in my path for whatever reason. Okay, so no Rango DB, let's take Alpine. Hmm. Whatever reason, that's still not working. Uh, we'll come I said back that to that was it for now. That's I'm it continuing for now. on here. I just hit pause for a second. Um, because it, just like I can't read my exceptions, I can't read the documentation. Um, that was not an added flag there. Let's see. And there we go. So can now pull uh, Docker images and I can have my graph database running in a Docker. I say my, the one I like to use. So very cool. That is now working. And this really is thin.